After more than three decades of that voice as the soundtrack to the Colts, Bob Lamey, hanging it up, calling it a career. Everyone seems to have a Bob Lamey story. Their favorite calls. Bob Kravitz, what's yours? He fumbled the freaking football <laughs> when Dominique Rhodes put the ball on the on the ground against the New England Patriots in the in the 2006 AFC Championship game. And thank goodness Jeff Saturday recovered that football. That was one of the best calls. There's so many, too many to choose from. But what would you say? has made him such a big deal in the city. He's been here with the Colts, but also Pacers and Racers. Why has he been such a staple here? Well, I, I think longevity first yeah. and foremost. You know, he, he's not, he hasn't been uh, bouncing around. He's been an indie guy uh, for years and years. Uh, 32, if he had done this year, it would have been 32 out of 35 years that the Colts have been here. So you're right. He is the soundtrack to, to, for many people in this great city. And he's going to be missed. Is there a way to even sum up the career of Bob Lamy at this point? Uh, he did not fumble the freaking football. He was, <laughs> he was, he was terrific. Uh, you know, I know he wanted another shot at a Super Bowl. But, hey, listen, he's going to be part of the Colts for a long time because I believe he's going to end up in the ring of honor. That's a big honor and a well-deserved one. I know Matt Taylor is someone that they're saying is going to be the interim. He's the sideline guy, a radio guy for them as well. Do you feel like this is the person who's going to be filling these big shoes of Lamy? Are there any other names you can think of? Well, Matt, to me, is the one and the only. Matt uh, took over for him uh, during a game when, his, when Bob's voice went south. Uh, he, was, uh, he, was, he worked for me, actually, Matt Taylor, when we had a radio show a long time ago. Super talented young man. I think he's going to do a great job.